August 14, 1947, a new nation was born. We must remember that we have to take momentous decisions and handle grave issues facing us in the solution of the complex political problem of this great subcontinent inhabited by 400 million people. The partition of the subcontinent in 1947 not only created two independent countries, Pakistan and India, but also provided an opportunity to the Hindu Muslim majority, princely states to annex with any of the new state as independent entity. Babalpur was considered the second largest and rich state of the subcontinent after Hyderabad Deccan. The Nawab of Babalpur at that time was the first state ruler that chose to join Pakistan unconditionally on 3rd October 1947. Babalpur was established as first state capital somewhere in 1720s by Nawab Amir Pawal Khan Abbasi I. The state was a gift to the Abbasis who migrated from Baghdad and Egypt by Nawab of Multan, Hayatullah Tareen on recommendations of Gilani and Bukhari peers of Ud Sharif. In 1833, Nawab Amir Bhavul Khan Abbasi III signed a treaty with the British rulers for reinforcing it as a princely state. The ruler was awarded 17 cannon salute and special access to viceroys of British India. The state later became one of the richest welfare riyasat, ruled by 12 different Abbasi clan Nawabs for over 220 years. The presence of various historical palaces and buildings with its unique architecture legacy and rich culture still makes Pavalpur as a princely state alive. The Abbasi rulers were very kind, generous and loyal. Out of 12, four of them were known to be more kind and generous to the people of the state. They were Nawab Pawal Khan II, Nawab Sadiq IV, also known as Subha Sadiq, Nawab Pawal Khan IV, who custom made their Bar Mahal in 1904 for one of his wives, originally conceived as the Pawal Gur. The fort was completed in 1905. After the sudden death of Nawab Havul Khan IV, Nawab Sadiq Muhammad Khan V, born on 29th September 1904 at Dalat Khana Palace, ascended the throne in 1907 at the age of three. But due to his young age, a council of regency was established in the state on his mother's request to the British. 
till he was conferred the absolute authority on March 8, 1924. On the coronation darbar at Delhi of King George VI, Amir of Pawalpur was on the top of the list of 600 state rulers invited to attend the function. Nawab Sadiq Muhammad Khan V performed a number of public welfare-oriented services. He especially designed a plan for the development of Pawalpur city. During his rule, several buildings were constructed, including Pawalpur Islamia University campus, the historic Sadiq Egerton College, Sadiq Public School, and majestic Bhavalpur Central Library that served the educational needs of the natives. While the state principal medical facility was built as Pavel Victoria Hospital, the Nawab, while realizing the importance of roads and rail transportation as enabler of progress and prosperity, adding hundreds of kilometers of reinforced roads and tracks in the state. Empress Railway Bridge on River Sutledge was built in the late 19th century. It carried a railway line and a cart road flanked by a footpath. In 1930, Nawab Sir Sadiq ordered for the conversion of the bridge into dual carriageway. During his reign, the elegant Noor Mahal was maintained as a state guest house. The majestic Sadiqar Mahal served as a state of secretariate, whereas Dalat Khana Mahal accommodated the royal family. The historical achievement of his period also included launching of Sutledge Valley project in 1932 till 1933. Under this project, headworks were built at three different palaces and canals were built for the irrigation of 1.5 million acres of land in Cholistan. Nawab Sadiq V proved himself as an administrator with the capacity to rule the people of the state with objectives. He was of the opinion that if people of the states are given basic necessities and justice, the state will flourish more and more and will be considered as a true welfare state. Till its merger as one state with Pakistan in 1955, Nawab Sadiq remained concerned with the problems and well-being of the people. Nawab Sadiq paid special attention to the educational needs of both boys and girls. After inception of Pakistan, the state of Bhavalpur contributed 72 million rupees as financial assistance and salaries of government officials were also drawn from its treasury, alongside 22,000 tons of wheat. He also gifted aircraft to National Airline. Earnestly acknowledging the valuable contributions, the Kaid said, We are thankful to the state of Pawalpur and Nawab Sadiq Muhammad Khan Abbasi for providing Pakistan with money to run the state affairs, even providing ink for our pens. In 1959, President Ayub Khan visited Sadiq Gar Palace and awarded Nawab Sir Sadiq with the highest civil award of Pakistan. The Order of the Nishani Qaid Azam. On 24th May 1966, Nawab Sir Sadiq died in London at 61 years of age. The national flag was lowered half mast. At the Ravar, six buglers of Pakistan Army sounded the last post. Artillery batteries of Pakistan Army, coordinated by radio, fired a 17-gun salute simultaneously from Rawalpindi and the Rawar. Though he departed for his final abode, but he still lives in the hearts of the nation. He has left the legacy of sacrifice, prestige, and national building. Offers by the government of Pakistan to compensate the Nawab for the loss of his palaces in Delhi, Missouri and Shimla were magnanimously declined by the ruler.